In this video, we will explore the question that is on every Heartland lover's mind. Is season 16 the end for Heartland? So what are you thinking? Well, we're going to tell you, Amy. We are going to give you five very good reasons for why it is obvious that season 16 will not be the end for Heartland. Reason number one. Many baseless, unsubstantiated rumors abound about Amber wanting to quit or start a family. However, she explicitly told us in an interview I did with her last spring, which you can watch, click above, that as long as the fans want Heartland, she is on board. This brings us to reason number two. Regardless of Amber's motherhood status, which frankly is no one's business but her own, Michelle Morgan, who plays Lou, showed us you can be not only an actor, but even a director while pregnant and while caring for a small baby. Here's her baby literally acting in season 16, episode 15. And she wasn't the only one that has been pregnant and had small children while filming Heartland. Hallmark movie queen Caitlin Lee was pregnant in season 10, as well as in season 13, showing it's very possible to be on a popular show and be pregnant at the same time. I'm pregnant, cowboy. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This brings us to reason number three. Heartland was one of the most streamed shows in the U.S. in 2022, which we all know is a leader in the world's market of entertainment, with billions, literally billions of minutes of Heartland watched in the United States, not to mention its growing popularity in other countries such as Iceland and South Africa. And this brings us to reason number four. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, like Heartland out there. Sure, there have been movies that have had extremely similar premises, but nothing has come close to the complete package that Heartland is. Literally hundreds of people and animals are responsible for Heartland's success, from the unbelievable music, to the amazing stunts, to the wonderful animal actors, and so much more. And this brings us to reason number five. There are so many more stories to tell in Heartland, and many of the storylines in season 16 were left open-ended. Looking at other popular shows like The Good Witch, see my interview with Good Witch creator and scriptwriter Rod Spence here, the last episode of the last season of Good Witch made it clear that the show was ending. Each main character was off on a trip and storylines were closed. On the other hand, Heartland season 16 Episode 15 did not do that. Many storylines were left open-ended, from Rick explicitly stating that he was running against Lou for mayor, to Lindy getting a second horse Theodore. Mallory, Mallory and Jake return, as well as Quinn and Georgie. Quinn? And then there's Amy. She is just starting a nice friendship with a single dad who is the father of Lindy's best friend. And then there's Caleb, who maybe or maybe not as single again, as he is going through what might turn out to be a very messy divorce from Cassandra. And there are so many favorites that we still haven't seen and that could appear in season 17, like Mrs. Bell, Jeff Crawley, and Jade, all of whom we haven't seen in a while. And most importantly, our personal favorite, Michael Weinberg, did not appear in season 16, though he made a famous and memorable appearance in season 15, see here. He did not appear in season 16, and we feel the show's producers and supporters would not let Heartland end without Michael making another appearance on the show. After all, we wouldn't even have our most favorite show in the world, Heartland, without the vision and bravery of this one gentleman. So that's a wrap up of our top five reasons that we believe that Heartland Season 17 is definitely coming out next fall. What do you think? And please, like and subscribe to this channel dedicated to all things Heartland with a new interview video coming out next week with another mystery Heartland cast member. Bye for now!